That's the way we are. We're uh, going to do part two of the beginnings tutorial to Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So we're in Steam. I'm going to press play. If I can get my mouse to work, that is. There we go. Let's load it up and see how we go on. Um, today we're going to have a closer look at the menu and stuff within the menu. Um, I've got so much rubbish in front of me, I don't know. And uh, we'll see how we go on from there. We'll see what's actually in the menu. So here we go. So as you can see, I've got my normal account there. We're going into the tutorial account for this part two. Uh, this gives you the updates of what's been uh, what's been fixed within the game itself, any bugs and anything. So you can come off that. Uh, or you can go and rate it on Steam. I've rated it twice now and it's still coming back up. <laughs> so we go to our fisheries and of course we're on Betty Lake. So let's have a look down this front part. So we've got a bit of information here about Betty Lake itself. We have our fish species here that can be caught within Betty Lake, which is always important. We've got the rainbow trout, brown trout, brook trout, bull trout, cutthroat trout, berbet, eyed and pumpkin seed. And you go on to this side, we got our game type. Now this is a multiplayer. You can play it locally on your local hard from your local hard drive uh, and say about that way and what have you. Uh, or you can play the multiplayer my language only, basically. And the one that I have on is any language, or you can have it in a private room. So I'm gonna play my language on there. So that's basically about the fishery. So let's it let's not hit play. Let's go up here. Right, so now we've got tournaments, so you can set up a tournament or you can join a tournament that's going. So we'll have a quick look at this. Uh, so you, you're on Betty Lake, you've got the time of the tournament from when it starts in the morning at 7 a.m. There, you can adjust that to up to 11 o'clock at night uh, by the looks of it. <laughs> so let's get that back to 7. Uh, the number of players, up to 10, I think you can invite onto here. Um, so let's put that back down to its four. Um, the uh, condition is a comp competition of time or the goal. So uh, we'll go goal. No, we won't. We'll go time. So we'll, we've got the time there set for 20 minutes. We can adjust that. We can adjust that up or down. So we'll take it down to like four, five minutes, say. Five minutes, if I can get it to get down there. Five minutes. And I'll, that sets the time of how long the tournament is running. Of course, if we, we set goal, then under the goal there, um, which is what we've got, we've got amount of fish, or we've got total weight, or the biggest uh, weight for the game. So we'll go time there, and uh, amount of fish. So we'll just uncheck the private tournament for now. So if we wanted to look for them parameters that's already out there that somebody else has set up we just hit find and uh, there won't be anybody on with them parameters so won't be able to join anybody uh, but what it does do it sets up that tournament for you so here we are in the tournament you've got your normal chat as you can see there's only me in um, you've got press T to start the tournament uh, the number of minutes and then the if you had four players in it I'd have all them of course there's only me so it's only got uh, tutorial in there Everything else is the same as the game, so I haven't got any bait, so we'll just uh, get some bait on. First of all, we'll buy some bait. Um, we'll, we'll buy a, couple, a few maggots, I think, before we start the tournament. We'll buy five and we'll put one on the hook. And we'll resume. So, uh, before we start the tournament, I'm going to walk down to the water itself. I'm just going to have a quick flick out and just show you that it's exactly the same. And the fish do count on here uh, as normal for your your normal fish count so go press t for the tournament and as you can see the uh, timer started going down already so we'll just flip one out see whether we can get some fishing i'll just adjust the drag on that because as you know i like to have my drag set and the speed of the reel i'll have quite fast um i'll have it as fast as actually and as you can see it's counting down if you was with other players of course you could pick over pegs before you start the tournament and uh, and go go for it let's just get rid of that we don't need to see all that lot um we should know by now how to cast and what have you then 
uh, be on our way from the uh, first tutorial. So we're going to go let's see whether we can catch anything within the five minutes that have been allocated. Or I've allocated for this tournament. Now this is a great idea if you want to play uh, a tournament amongst your friends. Or if you uh, you have friends on here, and we got a fish on. If you got friends on here, then you want to invite them to a tournament. Um, you can set a small tournament up for yourselves. Not a bad fish, that actually. We'll, uh, we'll sell that one because we are still have the money on here. Uh, and we'll flick back out, see how many fish we can get beforehand. Just a little quick flick out. So it's a real good idea. Um, setting up and creating one I'll do which is it brings to you exactly the same what's done here is created it anyway for me because there wasn't one out there already created um, if I was joining somebody obviously I'd be able to join somebody on theirs under the, the name of theirs so it's not too bad it's not too bad at all it's uh, probably a feature that some of you won't ever use or, or won't have even realised it's there to use or how to use it um, I think it's a great idea and one I'm looking forward to when my actual friends uh, get the time to come on and start playing at the moment they're all busy there we go we've got a fish on let's get another fish see how many fish we can get in there uh, I mean it's pumpkin seed that'll do we'll sell that as well as we are after money at the moment being at uh, the first levels I'm trying to get money to buy equipment Pluck out, let's see where we get any more. Everything else is the same as, as your normal. And if you want to go back to uh, showing the information at the bottom there, you just press the, the uh, old key on the keyboard again. Um, so that's all right. And of course, uh, on your chat, you can chat to people with F1. So if I press F1, I can say hi. And uh, if I wanted to wide that, I can press F2 and then that'll hide that chat and I can open it up whenever I want so it's just the same as anything else uh, when you're on the online one there's no difference except you can chat between yourselves of course I think the better way to do this is to play the game and have uh, if you've got multi monitors like myself and uh, a gaming machine is maybe have your zoom open and uh, chat to your friends while you're playing against them there we go, there's another one, let's look another one out. We've got 1 minute 43 and we've caught 3 fish up to now in this 5 minutes. We've not done too bad actually. Um, I, I, I am looking forward to playing against friends on this. Um, of course we'll be going for bigger fish I suppose because we'll all be on pretty high levels. And what I'll do is I'll do some comparisons between the menu here as a beginner and a menu when you get up into like the uh, level 20 area when you get to 21 expert area can we get another fish before this, this last 60 seconds go oh yep yeah, we've got one on just as I said that another pumpkin seed let's get that back out I wonder if we can get another one there comes the rain so quick quick out so that we can pick up another one before it times out on us. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Now we're going to get a chance to get another one and be able to bring it in. Doesn't look that way, does it? Oh well. Twenty seconds and no bite. 14 seconds we're gonna we're gonna be stuck with four fish I think a score of four of course it'll make me the winner because I'm the only one in here there we go in the tournament that's finished there we go and as you can see it if you had the players that have their the order that's uh, that in with the number of fish they caught in that time so let's close that let's hit escape from there, let's exit that back to the menu. So that's on the on the public one. So if you are doing a private one, you tick this box here as well, and then you just go create. 
and it goes away and creates it for you eventually and as you see it's exactly the same we don't need to go through it again it's exactly the same as the, the previous one when you're looking for the public one so let's get on that tournament so next up is our tackle and our bait and everything else so <coughs> we've been here um, and we haven't got enough money to buy another another rod or something so we'll have a look at the rods if you guess to go to spinning rods we're in the shop in this store part this is ones that uh, are in, in our inventory and ones we own so what you do is you can see that you can see the price if you want to buy another one you can see like what the type is and its durability uh, and its length so you could buy uh, there's another level one in there as well which is 161 um, dollars but a slightly better rod so if I was to say, you know, I want to buy that, and I am going to do, uh, even though I'm wasting money by just showing you, I could buy that, and then I can equip that. Then when they come to our inventory, we have two rods in. Uh, one of each we can use, or later on, if we when we get to the stands and what have you, uh, um, we'll be able to put two, two or more rods out. So let's go back. That's a shop there, and as you can see, that in level, so the next level, the answer is three in that uh, first level, four, four in the first level. Well, I thought it was only two, it was four. Uh, so when you get to level two, which we're on now, we can buy the rod in that area. So if you wanted the best, the better rod, um, of course, we buy within the level that we want. Is another one for two, another one for two. And then it's level three, so that's the best of, of level two, as you can see. It's an higher price and a much better rod. Um, if you want to sell a rod, you can, but you cannot sell the first one. That one there, you cannot sell the one you're given in the first place. But if you get to your own one there that you just bought, you can actually sell that one uh, if you want to. Let's try selling it. If it will let me, will it not let me? Why won't it let me? Am I actually on the line out? There we go. Am I actually on? Just let me get back out here a minute. <laughs> Have I still got a lot on? Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to exit. I meant to go into the, uh, the other part. So I do apologise about that. Let's get back here. I shouldn't have a line out now. Because I exited out of the game and I didn't mean to. Right, so we'll go back into the tutorial. Go back to where, all right, and if you go back to the rods, the spinning rod, as I was saying, if you want to sell the rod, you should be able to. There we go. Um, so now I could sell that, get my money back for that, as you can see, there are most of the money back for that, and then I could go to the next level rods that I want and find something in the range that I can afford and uh, and buy it up to and then I'll up to that one and so that's what we'll do what I'll do is I'm gonna buy that other rod back again in fact I might buy a if I can afford it a better one I can't afford the better one so I'll buy oh that's 255 as well isn't it I'll have to buy that one again oh that's gone up to Two two six oh one miles away aren't I? Sorry guys, and that one I want the one six one. So we'll buy that again, and we'll equip that this time. So we've actually got that rod uh, in use, and we can flick between them by eating a quip like that, and we'll see we can change rods. We can also we might as well show you while we're here. That's rod one. We've got a choice of five rods, so we can actually set up another rod there. So say that we wanted that, we can equip that there and we've got two rods ready uh, of course we'd have to have line and, and uh, hooks and plots and uh, reels so let's go back into the shopping let's go off the rods and we'll go to reels and the spinning reel and of course the, the one that we have is the first one on there which is the one we get free and we cannot sell so let's go back so we're in the level one is the next one up which is a better 
reel again. I mean, that, that's a level two. That's a much better reel, but as you can see, it's $193. And now we've only got $98 in the uh, kitter. So uh, I'll have to start some fishing in a bit and try and catch some fish. Um, so you can chop and change and, and add that. If you'd bought that, you could add, then add that reel into this rod. And same goes for line and uh, floats. So if we go to line there, as you can see, that's the line that we've got, which is uh, not a big breaking strain uh, monopole in the line. As you progress in the levels, again, this is done by levels. That's a monofilament. So we could buy that. Uh, actually, there's no, no cost to that one, is there? Why is that? So, oh no. Level one. Right, okay. That's, is that fly line? No, it's monofilament. Um, monofilament, again, at level two. 146 but the braking strain is a lot better of course uh, and as you go on into the different levels um, we got to level two again better again then into level i'm still on level two you can buy better line level two level three uh, you got your fly lines and, and everything else in there as well as you get further on uh, like that sync tip so if you got to say level two you could get to there you got a better braking strain and it's braid, so it's not gonna uh, not gonna have any elasticity in in that. It's gonna strike right away. So let's come out of that again. Let's go to floats. So we've got the basic float there. Um, you can get that float at level one and level two, level two, level three, and so on. So you can get better floats. Hooks. Um, We've got that one which gives us a range from the very small eight up to size two. Uh, but we can, if, if you look, level one, level one, level three before we get into the big hooks. Uh, well, the bigger big hooks. Um, so we got that from there. If we can buy them if we want and at the size we want. Um, $38 a piece. $33 a piece up to size 2 which is the same as what we've got basically and then the, the very small size 12 hook there if we were going for the very small fish um, this first one we've got uh, is, is that size 12 we've, we've got no it's 8 to 16 so we can buy the smaller hook anyway and we've got this one there which is not bad so that's his hooks line um, float and you've got your baits which are um, what we've got here at the moment we've got a few flies and we've got a maggot and so these are based on your level as well so flies level one maggots and the uh, p type thing bread and then when you get to small cut bait you have to be on level two and as you can see they're quite pricey they're quite pricey sweet corn is level two and obviously works really well uh, all these egg tight ones work really well. You've got cheese. Well, we're going into level 3 now. Um, before you get to worms, and and by the time you get to big pieces of cut bait, you're level 6. Um, so you have to, to pick your bait to the size of fish you want, or the lake that you're on, uh, or the fishery you're on. Um, then we've got lures. So let's have a look. We've got spoons. Um, we actually own a spoon because we bought one uh, these are quite handy for catching trout actually um, when you want to get some fish pretty quick so these are all based on your level as well so what you can purchase is by whatever level you're on um, they're fairly cheap you've got spinners exactly the same way you know because by your level what you can buy um, hard lures are the same and you've got quite a choice of them and of course your soft lures are the same as well uh, and then you've got your flies um, but they start at level 3 because that's when they, you sort of get into the uh, fly rod levels I think I think it's the fly rod levels at, that, at level 3 let's have a look, there's the flies at level 2, you can get into the level 2 um, but I don't know how you're going to buy a fly if they're only level three. <laughs> um I started about level three doing the fly fishing. So let's go back to lures. 
Let's do that to lose, I should say. You got the flies, and then you've got all the DLC ones from there that uh, have set for different fish. Then you've got, uh, let's put that back up. Then you've got your feeders. Um, and I, th I don't think we own one on here yet, do we now? So you've got a choice of feeders there. And for a feeder rod, of course, we've got plenty of feeder rods in there as well. Uh, then you've got other, which is, uh, if, I look, if you look here, you've got ground bait. So you can buy some ground bait to, to throw out it, basically. Um, and then you've got your rod rest, of course, um, which I was on about before, so you can put out multiple rods. And then bite indicators, and when you go over again on that, you've got your, your weights, extra weights you can get for your uh, your floats. You've got your fishing uh, landing net and the agar for um, the ice. That agar, you can get at level 2. Level 5 before you can get the landing net and you can also set that within the menu to uh, auto uh, lift the fish out and then you've got your weights so that's basically our shopping there which is our tackle box then we've got our own information here which tells us the level we're on our experience um, what we've got and what we could add uh, the money we've got in of course I've spent some the time spent on the game itself um, the number of fish caught uh, and the number of fish we, we've actually hooked but not landed uh, and our biggest fish there our difficulties and we can change passwords and all sorts we can change your profile on them what have you we've managed to open up one of the lots um, awards of course the more we more things we uh, more levels we get the more we unlock as you can see from when we hit level two we had a choice of unlocking these level three we can unlock from there and level five from there uh, until we get to level 12 and we then got the whole of them um which is not not bad not bad at all right so that's basically features for ourselves uh, then you've got your invites basically your friends that you can invite your friends that are online and then we've got, which is quite important, is about the fish. Now, on certain DLCs, it'll give you the fish that are within that. So, say Greenland, you'll have them. But because we're on Betty Lake, it's under the general or the global. So, we don't have one for Betty Lake itself. So, if we say you wanted the pumpkin seed, and I'll just try and find the pumpkin seed if I can if I can that is I am going through this very fast ok let's go back up to the top I'm not going to go up to that say the rainbow trout which we're already on um, where's my mouse gone lost my mouse it gives you some information about the rainbow trout but within this it gives you some idea about what the uh, what these fish feed on and stuff like that so um, it tells you like it's a predatory fish in its diet yeah, uh, and the best methods as well so the weather conditions and the best methods so if you're using lures and what have you you know you've got your lift and drop and that sort of thing it tells you a bit about the fish and it's the same with the cutthroat yeah, you know it tells you certain things about it you want to read these because when you get to you when you're doing the bait which i should have showed you and we'll just go back back here when we're doing the bait say we took bread there it tells you what level there the price but it also tells you what it's best for so what fish it's actually best for so you can match your bait to the fish that you're actually trying to catch and when you read what the fish eats and what it goes for you've got a better chance of catching that fish so let's go on to the next one which is you're standing on the leaderboard whether you're on online or whether um, you're on local or it updates anyway every month um, this leaderboard is redone every month so we've got like you know where are we within 86th place at the moment you know that's our score 
uh, R level. Is that R level? Oh, that's my level. That's my TSB. Uh, my TSB fifty eight one. It's showing there. So you got global super. Say using my TSB fifty eight. Say I wanted that on. We'll do a fish a lot. Yeah, you uh, that river. Right. So then it tell us where we are in there. So. We're at level 28 in there, so let's try Kiva Dam. Have we got Kiva Dam in there? Uh, uh, Kib, uh, Kariba Dam, I should say. So we get the level there, and look, we're in level we're at 2 this month in there, we're in position 2. So you've got an idea where you're standing with your fish and your fish weights, and you know your biggest fish on that, uh, on that particular DLC. So we'll just go globally and globally I'm setting in 50, uh, 86 place so for this month. So that's your leaderboard. Then you've got your um, trophy room which will go in. So as you can see there's not many trophies there but there's a couple of fish that we caught, a couple of species while we're on this beginner's level. So we'll just have a walk over to them. I don't think we've got anything else have we? Oh yeah we've got one down there as well. We've got, we've got the we've had a few fish so this tells us our fish that we've got and if you go up to it and we point it gives us the best weight so we've got our best fish in here basically um, I'll to turn now and we'll just have a walk over there and of course this builds up and I will show you my my other one where I've caught every species uh, that is on here they'll hold 123 of them um, so we can go up and we can check what our biggest fish is for a certain species because the biggest fish will always be on the wall um, this is quite big as well you've got an upstairs part there and you've also got a piece through here as well with another upstairs so if we go through here and these do fill see we've got another another one there which is the eyed by the looks of it if you can get it to show yeah see and it, it pulls all the way around so we'll just escape out of that so that's your trophy room so you can go and have a look at your biggest fish in there uh, and what have you and then the next part the next part is is one that i have i've tried and i'll probably show you i'll cut into this and show you um you can actually create your own fishing area now when you do that and you spawn the fish in there you can go and catch the fish but you cannot sell the fish but the fish still count as far as I know to the number of fish you caught so if I click on here I wonder if it will let me into mine that I've already created you come to this and this is the sort of creation area here um, and you can add trees, plants, rocks all that lot and, and come up from the ground and everything else uh, one I'd say read about you know because you've got terrains here that you can add in read about this one and I'm just wondering whether it'll load mine in so yeah it's got my test one from um, TSB 58 so this is one that I created a while back uh, and we'll go to play which is up in this corner so we go to play and um, here we go this was my experiment of playing about with this so I created this this landscape basically in this fishing um, I don't know whether I can actually you can't actually see the map part of it but you can pick everything else out so let's escape back so I've got I've got some bait on which is no good for here but uh, we'll just have a walk onto this platform I made and if we look out to the left of us we should have some fish spawning around near these boats so if I I can't do one to vision on here can I no because I'm not at the level on this one um, around there we've got some fish spawning so let me just, just just flip one out and see they shouldn't catch this it's maggot but they might oh I'm nowhere near I can't get anywhere near out to where the fish are unless we could get a fish to come wandering towards us we should have fish spawning there though We might have to just we'll just take a walk round and see where we can see the spawning fish. And yes, it does rain even on your own. Let's take a little run. We'll go up this way. This was just a little experiment of trying to uh, 
Do we look a bit of a landscape? Of we've got boats in there. We've got fish. Can you see them? They've spawned there. Um, and we've got fish all the way down the, the islands that I've created. So we come across. We might be able to see some from the other side. So this is worth a, a play about with. This was um, about a 20 minute job here. I was trying to learn how to do it. Some of the uh, the islands are a bit low um, for the water. So the, the water's not very deep in them. Let's see if we can see anything there. No, no. Okay, let's have another another wonder. Let's wander back over. Now this can be created by yourself. You can have a play about with this. Um, I don't think a lot of people have actually put anything on about this. To be honest, let's see where we can. Can I get in there? Can I get in the boat? We can. Let's let's just go and take a boat. And so come on. Go for, oh, I didn't want to cast, don't cast. Why is it not letting me in the boat? I did have E before, didn't I? Come on. Let me just go back. I can't get in the boat. <laughs> oh, there we go. I might be able to get in. Oh, I don't have the required skills. I haven't got the level lab because I'm not on mine. <laughs> uh, but you can go in the boats and you can go along around the uh, lap all the islands that you create or whatever you know you've created and you can go and fish all the way around up to the boundaries of course of where you've uh, done so let's come out of that one because that one is a, it's, it's a bit of a one that you have to have a play about with yourself to to find out things about it so we'll uh, exit that and of course the last things are your settings We've been through these, your resolutions and what have you. It's always pick the best resolution for uh, your monitor and the processing from your uh, computer. So if you've got a decent video card then you can go really very high and what have you. If you are getting a bit of juddering or, or, or frame drop type of thing, some judders, reduce your resolution and the quality uh, and that will smooth it out a bit. Um, Everything in here is self-explanatory really and everything is easy to adjust. Controls just tells you what controls are in there, um, what you can use. You can configure a couple of these as well yourself. You can change things. And just tell you, you know, like your equipment ones, what have you. When you go on them, you can change things. So you can make it how you want it and then there's your new control users that, that there's the information for your controller basically. So let's come out of that. Let's uh, come off that. And then you've got some out files, of course. You're moving around, casting, real. You know, basically your tutorial stuff in there. So let's go back to Betty Lake because we need to catch some some uh, fish now because we spent a lot of money, haven't we? So, so here we are. We're, we're going to go into the uh, TSV58 profile just for some comparisons from. A beginner to a level 23 so we've got the usual things there of course so uh, what we're going to first of all is the, uh, the amount of tackle we've got and um, you've got your shop as normal and of course then you've got my inventory and these these are the rods I own as you can see there's a fair few in there of different rods um, that we've got rods, spinning rods. You can see I've got three casting rods, so many casting rods, feeder rods, and uh, fly rods. If you look up here, my rods are set out um, along along here. So we've got uh, our heavier stuff, our fly rods, and uh, what have you uh, along here, our um, feeder rods, and again, uh, another casting rod there I use the five and the two for when I'm fishing um, or trolling in Greenland so as you can see on that there's a massive difference reels is the same um, if you look at the amount of money I've got I've got more money than I can ever spend on here actually um, if we go to the reels and go to spin reels um, the choices are all there and as you can see 
I've got a fair few spinning reels. Same with the casting reels. Same with the bottom feeders. And again with the fly. Um, because obviously I've, I've done the levels. I've earned the money and I've been able to buy them. Same again uh, with line. Um, if you look at the line here. I've probably got most of the line. Here that uh, you get in the, in the game. I don't want to change that. So I don't want it to go. As you can see I've got a good choice of line. For any of the rods that I'm on. Um, let's go back out of the line onto the floats um, you can see the floats here I've probably got every one of these floats and used every one of these floats on the way yet uh, on the way through the game if we go to the hooks we go to the shop on the hooks a uh, fair few hooks there as you can see uh, on mine I've got a fair choice of hooks that I can use as well for the different size fish in there. If we go to the bait and I go there, um, as you can see, I've probably got all this bait. Um, and like I've got five flies, I've got 64 maggots, I've got 19 pieces of bread, uh, 31 pieces of small cut bait. All that lot. This is what I was saying. I went into, uh, in fact, I'm much of that. that doesn't really work very well. It's all right for the Japanese eel. Um, that's why there's not so much of that this is why I got complacent about uh, bait when I was uh, when I'm fishing um, at the level 2 that we're at at the moment on on the game um, because I can just come in here and, and pick what I want or I can go and buy it because I've got the money so I'll say I needed some more live bait I can go up in fact I'm going to do that now I'm going to set that up to its maximum which is 99 I can just go in it and pay for it because I've, I've got so much money and I'm not bragging about that it's all been earned um, but it does give you the sort of complacency when you're going back to uh, the beginning and starting again from scratch um, you you haven't got the luxury of that money or that amount of bait or that much equipment uh, you've got to fight the fish with what you've got and what you've earned at that time and we all come through that way um, so Let's see, lures, lures are the same. The amount of uh, lures that, if I go there, I've probably got most of these, most of them that I find work for me, stuff like this. And it does tell you what they work for. Uh, if they're in there, they have worked at least once or twice for me on different things. Um, same with the uh, the spinners. If they're in there, they have worked for me. Um, same with the hard lures and the soft lures as well of course when i'm when i'm don't do that when i'm in greenland uh, i you tend to use these for the sharking uh, mainly that one that one and that one but all these do work um so and the that's the soft lures on the flies if they're in my flies they work for me and as you can see quite a few of them have worked for me out of quite a number of it that's in there um, I haven't got them all, of course, because they haven't all worked for me. Um, the feed is the same. Uh, I've got one. F well, I've got two of the same feeder in case I want two of the same rods out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but it, that, you don't really need a lot feeder baits. I've got loads of feeder baits, as you can see. There's the the shop for them, and there's my uh, my stack of them, of course, and an under rubber. Um, you've got your ground bait of which if you go to the shop there's plenty there and as you can see I've got plenty of ground bait and stuff uh, rod rod wrestles <coughs> <coughs> excuse me guys um, I've, I've probably got them all and, and they have I've got at least one of them all I think bite indicators I've got you know I've got a few bite indicators uh, and then if we go over again I've got a few of the weights in fact I've got 12 of them um, I have got the net and it is set to auto bring the fish out of the water and of course I've got an agar as well um, so th that's a massive difference between be the beginning and being complacent at level 23 um, of course everything else is the same um, only you can see that the experience points the money I've got uh, the time I've spent on here and as you can see I've put the hours in there's 244 and a quarter hours there 
I've, I've played time, the number of fish I've caught, uh, the number of fish I've fought, and of course my, my biggest fish I've got at the moment, which is a Greenland shark. I'm still trying to build to the 10,000 fish for the last award on here, um, which is not shown on there. Before I start adding and trying to get specimen uh, species, so uh, I'm well on the way, as you can see, it's uh, well, we've got there 3,787 fish caught on here, um, so that's our personal thing, of course, and everything else is the same. Um, the levels shown by TSV level on there, but the biggest difference is, of course, when it comes to the trophy room because you go into this trophy room and there's at least one of every species, and as you can see, they're all the way around. Um, I just go in all the way around, you know, and it's the same on the on the other side. You know, if I just go, go over there, you can see some huge, huge fish in here, I think, or, uh, including that monster there, which is the Greenland shark. So that is the main difference on that. We'll come out of that. Um, everything else, of course, is is, is the same. You've seen that I made this up, I've shown you how it was and how it worked uh, and I'll play it of course and obviously the settings are the same so uh, that is a comparison of being complacent at level 23 trying to play at the beginners levels and I think by the end of this um, this tutorial I think we've hit, we've hit level 4 so I don't think that's too bad for the amount of time we've done it on these two um, and we way over I think I'm over this now by what two hours 19 minutes which is too much of course uh, or two hours on the other and 19 minutes on this something like that so I'm gonna leave it there and we'll go back to um, what we was looking at on part two I'll see you in a few minutes multiplayer this time as you can see I'm on any language I'm just going to put my language I'm not being funny about that I'll just for this this one go so here we go now we're using the different rod as you can see so if I go to here and I go to the rods and I go to the spinning rods and to what we've got in our inventory, I can change that. Um, I should be able to change that rod. Although I've got two rods open, and I? I can change from one to the other. Uh, so if I was on two, like, and I've got rid of that rod there, and we went back to one, I'd be able to change that rod to that rod, and equip it. There, and if I resume. This is the rod that we've uh, first got. As you can see, there's the rod. We'll go back in and we'll change it back to the new rod we've got. So uh, I want to equip with that one. So there we go. And as I explained, we've got our weights and uh, line lengths and what have you there. Uh, and we hit resume. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll another click out of there and we'll go around to one of the other marks. We'll go around to um, we'll go around to two. There's people fishing on there. I'll just, just say hi to everybody. What's in there? There's six in there. We'll just have a walk up to the edge. If you let me walk up to the edge. See? I'm having trouble today with my keyboard. It just won't do it. Right, let's flip one out then. Let's pop one out. We've got a maggot on. We're going to set the drag and I'm going to set the real speed let's see where we can pop something out of this there we are it's letting us move now I have got a lot of little programs running in the background guys so I think it was uh, just that there was a problem I have my other YouTube channel running in the background on the Creator Studio. Let's see if we can get any interest on this uh, little maggot. 
We need to earn lots of money now because we just spent lots of money. There we go. Yes. Still this light line. It's, this light line is our, our bane really in this. It's to play the fish. Oh, it's too, too big a fish to play that for this. Um, and we've no bait. Excellent. Okay. Let's try and get a smaller hook. And we'll get a very small bait on there. Where was that smallest? That's it's a lot of money in it. Is that, should we should we try it? If we go broke, we go broke. broke. We'll buy that one. Um, we want to equip. Come on. Equipment right, we can't be changed. All oh, right, I've got a line out. Sorry. Yeah, I've got a line out. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? What am I doing? I'll come out of the game instead of just going back. So we want to equip with this uh, smaller one. So we've got the smaller one and... I did buy it, didn't I? Yes, I did. What's up with this? Come on, get in there. Equip. Zoom. Have we got anything? No, let's get some bait. We'll buy a couple of maggots and we'll buy a couple of pieces of bread. We want to equip that hook, so maggot there. Uh, check the hook we've got. We've got the very small size 12, which is what we want. We want the very small fish, so um, what we'll do is we'll take a, a walk down if we have to. We'll just flip one out here for a minute, see where we can get some of the smaller fish. We'll set the uh, Drag again, not that far up though, come on, come on. My middle mouse button does not like working, does it? I think it's time for a new mouse for me, guys. And we'll set the uh, real speed to fast. Try and see that. Can't see that bloody float in this. I just had to watch it from here. I mean, we're in desperate mon uh, money needs now. Here we go, I think. Are we? Can't tell now. Just the way it's reflecting on that background. It's got to be a small fish somewhere around there. Consider using a bigger hook, I'm after the smaller fish. <laughs> Let's have a look as well by pressing C. Well, we're not interested in any of the uh, any of the trout there, are we? But, are we? but um, we want we want the smaller fish. We want the pumpkin seeds and that sort of thing. So let's bring it back in then. Let's go back to peg four, where we know we find some pumpkin seeds and we find some uh, berber and we'll just walk down we'll have a, sorry and hi everybody we've got a few people here let's just chuck us out not very far but far enough see where we can pick up one of the smaller fish and let's get some money back in And as I say, this is the, the waiting game. And what we don't want to do is go bust for money. So 
So I'll say and use a bigger hook it's it. We don't want to, we want to use a smaller hook for now. Let's give us them a smaller fish. Let's have a look, see if there's anything down there. We can't see anything about, can we? Trout. Rainbow. But nothing being in size. That could also be down to the bait we're using uh, and the fish that have spawned in this area. We don't need a warning for bigger rooks again. Uh, sometimes when it comes up it tells you to use a smaller rook guys, don't. Because the bigger fish are still about. And I'm um, trying to use the opposite here and I hope that there's some smaller fish about where the bigger fish are. Not looking good though. Not looking good. Let's pull it in. Let's just just try a little bit nearer. There you go. Let's have a look. See whether there's anything about. I didn't mean to move the mouse. We can't really see from there, can we? No fish passing, let's uh, just leave it on that for a couple minutes. A cool shiver there on the maggot trying to trap the fish. Doesn't look like this small looks working, but it will work for us later on on some of the other DLCs when we have to very, very small fish. Definitely not working for us on here. Let's go back up. Let's pull it in. And we'll change up again. And just go back into my escape. Into our inventory. I'll to that up. Let's equip. And it'll go straight across and we can resume again. Uh, we should have the maggot on there still. So we'll just pop one out again. Just a little flick, see whether we can entice anything now. We'll go down and we'll have a look. Still a very small rainbow about. Let's see whether we get anything interested. We'll uh, move chat as well for now. People catching. Well, I'm not. <laughs> See plenty of plenty of rainbow trout down there. Still not in, enticing anything with this bait, am I? So we're not enticing anything at all. Let's come back up top. Let's pull it in. I'm going to lengthen the line. So I'm going to lengthen that down. There we go. I'm going to try again. Try and hit around about the same spot. Down the walk. We tap in the bottom now. See whether we can entice anything yet. Let's 
There's no more sign of any hide or any pumpkin seeds, is there? Brown trout and rainbow trout. But nothing coming our way. went into the salad so uh, shouldn't be too much of an hindrance but still not big, nothing about nothing for us anyway so we'll uh, bring it in we spent a lot of time fishing and no results we'll change the bait we'll go for bread and we'll see whether any of the eyed want that so escape again to baits it's a bread. Uh, we've got two there. Let's get rid of that one. We should be able to equip with this. What's up with it? Don't want to buy. Don't want to sell. Eight. Bread. We should be able to equip. Why are we not able to equip? What? We're on size eight. Okay. Let's go for a size 2 equip now. Go to bait and we can equip it now. Let's get on there. Let's click this out, see whether we get any interest now. I've got much longer length there now as well. So let's have a look. Still in that salad. And we play the waiting game. Just what we don't need, we don't need a slow start when we need money. <laughs> this peg's not being fruitful to us at all. Absolutely nothing interested. Let's go back up. Let's pull it out. And let's move round. See whether we can interest anything in another one of them pegs. So let's go back up here. We'll go to peg five. See whether we can interest anything here. Let's walk to the end and not fall in. Uh, and we want to come to this side. Some smaller fish are normally down this side. So let's drop one in. Let's have a look before we tighten it up. And we're down to the ground again, aren't we? There. And there's no fish about. Let's tighten the line. Hope something comes our way. We're done the waiting game, guys. We're on the waiting game again. Seven to eight two in the morning, and the wind's at what four point five miles per hour, and it's twenty five degrees. Of course, the weather and uh, the climate affect whether the fish are going to bite rapidly or not. Just like in real life. Um, except you get more fish biting on the game than you do in real life unless you're really, really lucky and you land within the fish and you've not scared them off. Here we go. There we go. We're on. Let's get a little fishing. Oh, we've lost it. 
There was a burbot as well there, it is sat there. So I'm getting all one out. Could almost reach down and pull it out by hand. <laughs> I think the game's playing with me today, isn't it? It's making me work. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Especially used with airphones. Airphones in airphones. I was going to say then, because I was watching that bite. And we got a little pumpkin seed, and we'll have that three dollars. Let's flick out again and see whether there's anything. Anything more around here? Tighten the line up a little bit. So guys, if you would ask me drinking the last of my uh, can. <laughs> my can of Pepsi. That line up a little bit. No bait. I was seeing that again. Oh. Man, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this, aren't I? Much better than I am doing. That's um. That it's costing us more than the uh, the fish we caught. That's because. On my other level, I'm, I'm used to having loads of bait and loads of money to be able to spend on bait. Uh, I'm not really looking until I run out and then I can go and buy 99 of it, any bait that I want. Uh, on here, I cannot do that. I've got to try and remember that I am back at the beginning and I'm back looking for fish. Uh, I'm looking for that money uh, to be able to upgrade and I'm looking for the experience points to move on as well. So I cannot be complacent like I am on the other profile. You've got to try and make every every bite count. Here we go. I'll glide another three dollar one. We've got to get at least three of these just to get over breaking even with the bait we just bought. Try and get another one out on this and if we're not successful I'm going to go on the spinner and try and catch some of the smaller fish on the spinner and build up some money that way. Start that line up. Lift it a bit. Oh, it's a record one for us as well. That'll do. Let's pop another one out there. Oh, we've got no bait, so I should have looked before I put it out. Let's bring that back in. And what we'll do is, because we've got no bait, I'm going to flick onto the spinner. Um, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll go to our lures and spoons. And we'll set the spoon and we'll equip it with that and then we'll resume and we'll see how we're going with this. So we want nice long cast with this. So we'll lift the rod back, get the power in, drive it down. We can try and get some distance. Now I fell off the desk. Uh, we didn't get any distance because I fell off the desk with the mouse. We'll uh, reset that real speed. We want it 
fairly slow and we'll start winding in see where we get a new look there we go we're in, in. We might have to let this run for a bit you can hear it stripping that line start. we don't want it redlining all the time try and start bringing it in bit by bit it a little bit let's try and pull it in a bit spinners do work really well spoons do work really well on the on this lake especially when you can get into the higher levels and the um, the bigger spinners you've got trout on looks like a brook trout by the looks of it well it's seen under the water it looked like a brook trout but is it coming up Yes, oh, and that's good. We got 21. Does and a new another new record that'll do us. Let's uh, throw another one out. I'll try not to fall off the table this time. I still can't get down far enough. There we go, and we'll start winding in. And we have a bit of what we might catch one, another one, and start building that money back up. See, if you fail at one thing, at least you've got other things to try. And as I said, um, from the first one we'll need to try other techniques to catch fish to gain money nothing so far we're going to be kicking this one back out we can see a lot of rising there we go. off it goes we can see a lot of rising between these two points here so what we'll do is we'll throw, throw one out over there and see whether we've got any luck at picking something up that's sort of our size. We want to drop that real speed down as well. I forgot to uh, do that on the last one. We want it fairly slow on the retrieve. So we've only fished that, pulling it back in, or hit it on the way in. Okay, back out again. Big long cast this time. As far as we can. At the moment, it's not very far, but it'll do. Not having much luck even though we're going through the middle where the rain's in. Here comes the rain. Not always very good for the, uh, the fishing. Let's move that can. Okay. So let's try along this side then. And we'll try sort of in towards the margins. See whether anything's hiding around there that's sizable for us. A bit further out than I wanted that actually. And nowhere near a decent cast. Beginning to look like that first cast was a fluke. So that's a let's uh, try and get in towards this margin here. Oh man, that was bad. Bad casting. I don't know what's up by casting on this uh, beginner's tutorial, but it's nowhere near like it should be. Of course, we've not got strength in the arms yet. We haven't opened up the uh, rewards to be able to cast very long distances. Mm 
Quick look even there. Okay, let's turn this way. Let's fire towards the uh, Peg 3 dock. Uh, 32 metres, that's not a long way. Let's bring that rod up a bit. is more but that's about it don't forget guys you've got how many meters away and the depth that the uh, the world is at so in where your re reel is where your drag is and uh, your reel speed today than I thought it would be. It's a couple of, of metres sharp this time. Size to know the fish that are rising there. Let's try again. The one keeps rising around there, but I don't think they're interested in the, uh, the spoon. That might have been in there, just past us. Stop and I'll start reeling again. That we've been it. Right, okay. So we can bring this guy in. Ah, don't can see that'll do another new record. And we're getting towards the end of this uh, level two. Of course the, the further the levels go, the more fish you have to catch and sell to move up the level. Uh, until it gets into you thousands and thousands and tens of thousand pounds uh, or dollars to, to get to the next level. Let's reduce that. I forgot to do that again. After catching a fish you always have to check it back. Uh, if you're spinning back to about two notches up for speed. I found Three can be a bit too fast for some of the fish, and one is a is just too slow. And two two is not bad. And we move it again. And we're gonna have to let this one run because it did take it into the red right away. See, get the pressure is still on the red right away. Let's let this one run. It's a bigger fish. Or the better fighting fish. No, still not ready to uh, put any sort of pressure on with this light line. Let's hope he doesn't snap us off. Let's hope he's not too big a fish and we can play him. There we go, maybe. When we get when we got him turned, but we're uh, 
recorded on the red all the time. So I'm going to get the E. Make some inches and then put him back. There we go. Pull in. Make some. Pump him and make some. Uh, some like way of getting him towards us. We won't want to snap him off. If he gets too near, just stop reeling like that and it'll go back into the green. Um, Come on, it's a good fish, it's a good fish guys, very small, very light tackle that lid on, there we go, let's make sure we can get him in, oh we have got a good fish, 71 dollars worth and it's uh, another new record on that rainbow trout, so we'll have that money, we hit level 3 and way into it with the uh, money from that, we did well with that one guys, so let's get go in again and try and get some money in so again we want to reduce that speed of the reel in and we'll start reeling in keeping it straight oh I'll stop reeling that's my uh, mouse lost con contact and again I'm dead spot on the uh, on the computer desk again wait right until I've got in because I have been it just before it was ready to come out of the water. Let's get one out over there. That's a better cast. Let's start reeling in. And I might drop a little bit down at 1.1 meters uh, under. Start bringing it in all what we get a bite. going right across the fishing face I don't know you can actually watch this as well coming in and we'll, uh, we'll do that on the next cast I think there's still got fish rising in this area let's get one more out there as long as we can not too bad what we'll do is we'll flip to underneath and we'll have a look at the spinner as we're reeling in, see where anything comes along and starts chasing it. That glitters in is what attracts when the sunlight hits it, as if it's a fish in some sort of distress, which is been an happy meal. And I don't mean the McDonald's one. In the surface, nothing come for it. up again and chuck our get out again over here. If you don't get any more success uh, in this sort of peg we'll move to another one. So here we go again. See if we get anything enticed. So come in and take them the lure. That'll be a no. Oh, there's a fish coming there. That, that that took it. See how I stopped and, and give it a chance. Um, just keep on that and we'll get up here and you don't want it you don't want it to get too far away. There we go, nice cut bro, we'll have that. We'll take that any day of the week. Um I think we'll try another one out there, just the one and then we'll move on. If you're not catching up and you do see the fish, if you just stop for a second, they'll pounce on it. They'll pounce on the bait. Let's uh, reduce that again. We'll have another look. 
see whether we can entice anything. <coughs> you can also do the uh, drop and pull. Which is not what we're doing there, but uh, they've all stopped. <laughs> Anything, nothing coming towards us. <coughs> Slight drop again for a little bit. I'm very, very near to coming out. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go, let's come out. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll change pegs or should we have a walk? I'll tell you what, we'll take a walk round I think. So uh oh I'm nice stuck there yet. Yeah. Let's have a, a quick run down then. And uh, we might chuck out towards this rock again, I think. From over this side. From around about here. Yeah, from around about here. Let's uh, let's throw one out. Let's just have a look how, how near we are. We're near the rock, so let's get there. And we want to get to right towards the edge. Let's throw one out that way. Not quite straight, but what I'll do, I'll start bringing in from here. I'll have a look again. Oh, we're in a lot of uh, salad here, aren't we? And not a no sign of any fish. Nothing small at the bottom. It's never been um, a good spot for me here. We will have a couple of casts out here and then we'll move around again. And this guy, this is how we start learning what's where in the uh, in the lake as well. What what you go into it most of all. Uh, that's it one out over there. And what pegs work for you and what don't. So we'll do experiment, do go around the lake and uh, and try. You will see concentrates of, of certain uh, species of fish in certain areas of the uh, of the lake. And the one that keeps rising there, it's coming this way. Let's just pop a quick one out. So there, so we can entice and and size the fish. So we can get it. Let's have a look as well. much look there are we so uh, we'll move further around sorry if you heard that bang there it's just me putting something down and we'll head over this way and what we'll do is if I can that's it we'll get onto there and we'll, uh, we've got this area here all the way down we can explore so we'll click out towards peg 2 bad and we'll start reeling in we'll have a look as well see whether we've, uh, we've got anything we can't eat salad again no fish in the area at the moment is there see the little sink look there's fish oh I'm with it it really hard by a, a trout so let's get that and it's a, really a fairly decent fish this that looks a bit on this light tackle you can actually see it in the water there it's not a bad fish at all we don't want to snap off if we can help it so it's a case of stopping what we're doing while we're dealing in there we go 
62 doors that'll do us we have way through level three already let's get another one out there we don't have to go so far i think we'll go over this side and we won't go out quite as far this time 25 meters we want to reduce that again the real speed and there we go oh i made it really hard i don't know what we've got on let's have a look we'll let it run oh it's another trout I didn't look at it very much, I've seen what it was. <laughs> Let's keep its head up. This is taking stripping line out. Let's give it a test. No, we can't move it yet. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you better it'll come back a little bit. No, it's going forward. Keep its head up. So give it a try. No, we're not pulling it back any are we? Take its head really far up then. So we can. Yeah, I think we've got it turned. Let's get it turned and get it in if we can. We're not losing it. Let's apply this one and pump it. It's a big fish on this light tackle. Try and keep this rod a little bit lower. Pumping a little bit. Try and get him in. He's giving us a, a quick splash about now as he's fighting. Here we go. There we go, new record. It's a bull, bull trout. Um, it's $79. That'll do us mighty fine, that won't it? Look, we're nearly out of level 3 already. Let's kick another one over. We'll go back over that way. We'll reduce that to uh, real speed, of course. And we'll start pulling in. And with a bit of luck, we'll be here together with a decent fish. So we have a quick look, see if we're in any sort of look. You're right above that salad, but it's in the light. Nothing coming for us at the moment. Let's stop and let it drop. Bring it back. Can't see any fish about. Oh, and with it. <laughs> we were hit by a pumpkin seed. We were hit by a pumpkin seed. Really close in. Every fish counts. Let's have that. We'll have the $3 for that. Thank you, Mr. Pumpkin Seed. And we'll. Uh... Oh, there's some rising in here. So let's just flick flip one out over here and see whether we can entice another fish from this side and reduce that real speed of course and we'll have a look from underneath it's got quite a heavy salad bottom this hasn't it stop let it move come back any fish about No. Let it drop. Let it drop. Not far away from ourselves now. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> that was me with my uh, twitchy finger again. So let's get one back out here again and we'll, uh, we'll go try and get towards the margin. We're well, eating the land with a bit of luck, we bit the land, but that's not good. We, was, uh, we got too near then, didn't we? Let's get further on this desk. We want that margin again there. There we go. That's 
Что-нибудь я не понимаю. Слово. drop a little bit. Right, let's bring it in. Oh, I'm in it. Check out what we've got on. That's a cut throat. I think and you can see where it's heading for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to play this again a little bit. Let it do some running. I'm not gonna go anywhere near there. There's a big fish. Might snap us off this one. It's Bit big for us to play on this light tackle, tackle, but we we might we might be able to do it. We might be able to do it. You never know. Let's keep them away from the margins and any snags, which is heading for all the time. So let's get, keep the pressure on. Keep that pressure on. Come on. Going away from that margin again. There we go. Is a pretty cool for the boys. It's a cool throw. New record as well and a decent amount of money. Oh, and we're just short of going into level 4. So let's kick another one out over that way. Too fast, I thought it was. And we didn't go out anywhere near this far enough. Oh, fish near. Right, let's, let's get another one out over there. There we go. Let's uh, get it to sink a little bit. Do it. And we'll make this the last cast for this. Uh, I'll, we'll make the last fish all, all right in towards the margins. We'll make this the last fish if we land it. And we'll cut throat. And uh, I'll leave this at part two. We snapped off. Let's get another fish first. That was a big fish, that. Let's uh, reduce that reel speed again. We'll leave this at part two and uh, we'll come back to it for the part three. When we've got some more money and some more levels going and to show what equipment you can buy. Fish behind us then, that looks a bit. We just want one more fish out of here and then we'll go over what's, uh, how many fish we've caught and such like. 
and the level that we gained. Or well, two levels if we're very lucky and we get a decent fish here. Fish behind. Rising. And do a pull and a drop. Not enticing or anything. Again, out there. Ready to drop a little bit. One meter mark. And start bringing it in. Let's have a look. See if anything's about. Stop and reel. Side of the margin where it drops off to the bottom, where fish tend to hang out. But we've not got any luck this time either, so we'll uh, we'll try over this side. I think uh, try and get this last fish. Let's try again over this side. That one didn't go very far out, did it? No. Let's have a look. Well, that fish was going to come for it then. Again, you can see the banking as it gets down the margin. Oh, and we hit, we hit by a rainbow trout. So that was good. That was quite near. I'm going to pull a run. And this is a bit powerful for us, I think. On this very light tackle. We need to change this one of filament when we can. He's going right into that margin and there's not a lot I can do about it without snapping off. All I can do is pull at this side. I know that we... Uh, we can move him. Right on that margin. Right where we don't want him. Oh, he snapped us off. He was a bit big fish. We'll take another, another try at him. Or oh, another fish around that area. Oh, yeah, that was a crap. Crap, crap, cast. We'll have a look. hunt the ground until we get one landed. It's over an hour and a half long this and it's going to be even longer than that because I need to put some other little bits and pieces in from the uh, other profile just to show a comparison. Oh, and there we go. Let's get it up. Let it do a run. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's, that's fine. We can, we can have a go bringing this one in. There we go. And it's a $4 one, so we're, we're not doing too bad. And we're on level 4. So what we'll do is we'll leave it there. We'll have a quick look at uh, how we've done. So we want to go to this one here, which is a skills one. Um, our experience level has gone up a bit but with them lost fish it's made a big difference on it 
with money we're back to 351 which we need to get a lot more money than that but we're allowed to unlock one so what we'll do is we'll unlock strength i think on this one so we can get a better cast um we've caught 37 and we've had 46 spikes uh, and our biggest fish is now the bull trout at £5.11 which is not bad at all uh, I'll tell you what we'll have one more truck, truck out now we've got a little bit more strength and um, we'll see whether we catch one or not on this one one cast let's see how we do in this oh look at that much better cast that 45 metres or so um, we'll stop that it's down to nearly two meters down that two meters now so let's have another look up try what we'll try and do as well i won't read in as well we'll try and um so what we got we'll try and cut roll we'll try and uh, change this one off filament as well See we get, we've got enough money in to change the monofilament and try and get some land some better fish. This is a bit, bit too light this uh, this line for landing fish. So we're gonna be lucky and land this one I think. And we are, and that's gives us an eleven dollars, and that'll do. Let's go to there. Let's have a look at line. Let's see what we can get. Uh, what is that? When I was one hundred and forty odd dollars on that. It's one hundred and twenty. Level two. Level three, which we're on very very expensive isn't it but look at the difference that's fly line by the way um, let's see too expensive for us that braid fly and that's mono 208 expensive that's fly that's braid do we take our chance and, and buy some braid and go for it, yeah. I can't remember what it's gonna cost us a lot of money. A lot of money, <sighs> choices, choices. Uh, 76176 16 mil on the braid. Should we go for Kilograms. We'll buy that, uh, and I will uh, equip it, and we'll have another another chuck out, and then definitely we're going to have to stop this here because it's going to be two hours long otherwise. Um, let's resume. So we've got that. We've got this nice yellow line on now. So uh, let's go across this way and try one. We're going to be able to play the fish a bit better, and then that way. We can land more fish than we have been doing. Let's take a walk up here first. Let's reduce that. And here we go. It's all about making, getting better equipment, making it easier to catch more fish, to get more money and more uh, experience. One is what we want at first because we want the better equipment and to move through these lower levels quicker. Maybe we won't move into something. Right, let's have a look what we've got. Oh, we've got a, a brown trout and a fair size one by the looks of it. So let's get his head up in the air. Let's give him a look or two. Yeah, we're not going to be ready to turn yet. Just by changing the rod and uh, the monofilament line has, has helped us get into some better fish. Let's try and you know, pump. 
He's taking line out a lot of line out. There we go. I think we can turn him. He's been a bit of what we got him. We got him turned. We got to watch for going in into that dark red. So we just we'll have to pump him and then pull and then pump. Not take it into that dark red. Then so we can get him moving this way properly. On the other monofilament we probably would have snapped off by now. Here we go, we can pump him a little bit now. Bring him towards us. So this is a fairly decent brown trout. Earn some money back from what we just spent. Oh yeah, 71 dollars. New record as well. Um, we'll we'll have that, and we'll uh, I was just, I was going up, wasn't I? But I want to chuck out another one as well around this area. Just to see whether we can gain any money back. We spent a lot of money getting this, so uh, I want to get the money back. Let's change that speed, but draw back in. behind us, it must have been following us that it cut off at the end. Let's try one over there. And we've got some rising. Rising right in front of us. I've like really dropped around the metre mark again. Still pushing that area, patrolling. And a bit of luck we might hit into this. That would be an old one. <laughs> We've got one green tail flicks further up. One more. Anyway guys, I hope this has given you a little insight in how to start off on this game and uh, get along and how to catch fish using different techniques. Of course we, we, with a lack of money we're on a spoon which works really really well on Betty Lake I must admit. Uh, and the bigger the spoon the, uh, the bigger the fish you catch. One more, this is the last one guys. Last cast. And as you can see we've got better cast now, we've got a bit more strength in there. We'll actually have a look and see as well if we're anything about. Trout wasn't interested, was it? Still not interested. And you can see at the bottom there we've got Berbert as well. It's going in towards shot there. None of these fish are interested in this. Some brown trout still about. Oops. 
let's think again, we're really close to coming up. There we go. Oh, that's it guys. So from there we'll stop this uh, part two tutorial. I hope you've learned something along the way. Uh, I hope I've been able to help in some sort of way. And if we have guys, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, hit the notification bell next to it so you know when I've next uploaded. Uh, we will be carrying on with this, but when we get further on and we can buy some better equipment and some better baits. Um, so look out for part three coming soon as well. And I'll tell you what guys, I'll see you on the next one. Here we go. Bye for now.